I interpret Dwayne's tweet as a shot at LeBron James. And I do, I want to be clear about this, not a personal shot at LeBron because he still loves him some LeBron like a brother, but a shot at LeBron's leaving Miami instead of rededicating to Miami and sucking it up as Pat Riley challenged him to do and, and reuniting with Dwayne and Bosch and Haslam who did opt back or resign with the, the Heat yesterday as Dwayne expected him to do and returning next year to fight back to the NBA Finals and right the wrong as the Spurs just did last year and win it. Now, Dwayne obviously is from the city of Chicago, born and raised. But his heart, as he said in that tweet or the Instagram, is in his new home of Miami. And to quote him, it's my city and more important, it's my house. It has started. As I told you on Monday, this will be the greatest thing that ever happened late in his career to Dwayne Wade. LeBron left him high and dry, and I don't think Dwayne quite saw this one coming until last Thursday night when they flew back on the plane from Las Vegas, as you recall, to Miami. And that's when Dwayne heard for a fact LeBron was leaving. Now, Dwayne has been publicly very supportive of LeBron because he does still love him like a brother, but trust me on this. From a basketball perspective, from, from even a life in Miami perspective, Dwayne ain't happy about this one. So this is going to rejuvenate him, re-motivate him. I loved another Instagram that he posted back in late June of a clean meal that you should be eating, and you do eat a lot of, but a clean meal with, with the caption that said, day one of a new challenge. And I said during the finals, Dwayne got a little jolly, got a little puffy in his face, a little too much weight he was carrying on those creaky knees. I think you will see him get his knees back to the best they can be. I think you'll see him drop about 10 pounds, take a little pressure off those knees. I think you'll see more of the superstar Dwayne Wade next year in, in response to LeBron leaving him. And remember, Dwayne opted out thinking LeBron was going to opt back in with him. And Dwayne wound up having to leave about 11 million bucks on the table when he did resign back in with Miami so that they did have some cap space for Lou Alding and obviously for Chris Bosh, who did get overpaid, but that was the only way you were going to keep Chris Bosh. Bottom line, I loved it that Heat Nation ran with this new mission concept and started with the hashtag last night of loyalty over royalty. Stay with us, Dwayne. Thank you very much. And King James, God bless, but good riddance back in Cleveland. Well, first of all, it's a couple of things. Number one, I think you're wrong. Number two, I think you're being excessively cruel to LeBron from this perspective. LeBron has made it clear to everybody from day one that it was not a foregone conclusion that he would stay in Miami. Dwayne Wade knew good and well that LeBron James was contemplating leaving. Is he confident that LeBron could potentially choose him in the Miami Heat? Sure, just like Pat Riley was. But that's not LeBron James' fault because it's not like LeBron James didn't tell him. I remember back in 2007, LeBron James is a member of the Cleveland Cavaliers. He has three years to go. I'm sorry, then it was two years to go in 2008. I sat down for a one-on-one -on -one with LeBron James, and he basically told the city of Cleveland, do not count on me staying here after 2010. I do have a desire to spread my wings to see what else is out there. I've been in the Akron, Cleveland, Ohio area all my life. He said it years in advance. They just didn't listen. And he said the same you thing. You think Dwayne didn't listen? No, no, I'm saying, well, uh, if, if, you, if you're sitting there shocked that LeBron James left, you wasn't listening. Uh, I, because I, I'm going to go surprised. I won't go shocked, well, but I'm going to go surprised. Okay. I'm going to be, I'll you go to say, disappointed. Okay, you could say surprised and disappointed because you're leaning on their relationship with one another and saying that Dwayne Wade and the relationship that he had with LeBron James, thought he thought it would propel LeBron James to ultimately elect to stay in Miami. But again, that's not LeBron's fault. LeBron did put everybody on notice that he would contemplate leaving. And it should not have been a shock to anybody. That's point number two. Point number three. Dwayne Wade, you know how I feel about him. When, listen, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I've been covering the NBA for almost 20 years. Dwayne Wade may be the best person mm -hmm. I've ever covered. I mean, he's that special of a guy. 
all right? And this year, he shot about 55% for the field. He averaged 19, 4, and 4. Oh, by, by the way, no that scrub. was 54, but, but it was his career best. That's right. Okay. It was his career best. Still averaged 19, so, so, 5, exactly. and 5. Exactly. So Dwayne Wade, again, we all understand when he's healthy, he's a superstar. But the problem is he hasn't been healthy the last two years. And there is a deterioration that kicked in that LeBron James saw. Now, that's not Dwayne Wade's fault. What can you do if you're not healthy? You're just not yeah, healthy. But, but, by, but by choosing to go home, in effect, LeBron, home, home I, I get that. And that trumps all of this. That trumped mm -hmm. Pat Riley's Which, challenge. That's right. He, he ran through the first open door, but it was to go home. That's right. So it's hard to say, oh, you can't Had he gone that. anywhere I else, agree with you. You would have been but right. But remember, there's a little part of Dwayne that, number one, takes it as a challenge that LeBron basically said, I don't think you can, I don't think you can help get me there yes, anymore. Because of your okay. health. Okay, but, but number two, Dwayne sacrificed a lot for LeBron James, and Dwayne, in his heart of hearts, mm. thought that LeBron owed him just a little bit time to out. stick, stick with time him out. and fight back time one out. last time. Time out. You and I are together on this. We recognize the sacrifice that Dwayne Wade has made, the contribution he has made to that Miami Heat franchise. Just real quick, we, just real quick, because we forget this. Do you remember the 2010 finals against Dallas? Yep. If Miami closes that deal, and it looked like they were mm -hmm. in position to close mm -hmm. it after three games, right, right? up two right. to one, right. Dwayne Wade would have been the MVP of that series. Go back and look at the numbers. I know that. And, and who... Who wasn't there for him? Who disappeared Wait a minute. in games? Wait a minute. What Wait. was it? Five and six. LeBron, LeBron disappeared. LeBron did not okay. show up in the fourth quarter okay. against the da against the Dallas Mavericks in the NBA Finals. But do you know to this very day, Skip Bayless, that Dwayne Wade's confidants hold him accountable for that Finals? Okay. Let me tell you why. But he was still let me, no, no. Okay. Let me tell you right. why. Because even though he played sensational you sort of knew that there was still a maturation process that LeBron needed to go through that Dwayne Wade didn't because he had already been there. And he was so busy trying to bring LeBron along that he had forgotten to step in and take over.